right, I'm going to be talking about ketosis in dairy cattle. And ketosis is a metabolic disease that occurs when a cow is in a severe state of negative energy balance. So the cow uh, metabolizes large quantities of body fat but cannot convert this to energy in the usual ways. Instead, the ketone bodies are produced, which in small amounts can be used by the cow for energy. However, in large amounts, they cannot all be used and ketone levels increase in the blood. So there's three types of ketosis. Uh, type one is a sudden drop in energy intake. So this is due to either underfeeding or adverse weather conditions like a snowstorm or bad rain, and it prevents the cow from eating sufficient amounts of dry matter. Uh, type two occurs post-calving, so the cow is metabolizing excess body fat to meet the demands of milk production. So cows that are too fat at calving are at the highest risk. And then type three is silage ketosis, so it occurs when a cow ingests low quality silage. So the silage would undergo fermentation which um, increases the risk of ketosis. And I'm going to be focusing on type 1 with the weather conditions. And then with type 1, are you going to be talking about, are they going to be milking or not, or does it matter for type 1? It doesn't matter, but okay. typically it's milking. Okay. Mostly in milking dairy cow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is kind of just a diagram that shows how ketosis works. So if the feed intake does not meet the energy demand, uh, insufficient ruminal production of propionic acid will occur and then this causes the cow to have low blood sugar and then that low blood sugar makes her metabolize fatty acids and glycerol supplies and the fatty acids and glycerols are oxidized to form acetyl-CoA and then the excess acetyl-CoA because of the lack of energy is converted into ketone bodies and those ketone bodies are accumulated and excreted in milk and urine. And yeah, before you go on, you know, that very, on the very left it says feed intake does not meet energy demands. And whenever that happens, the cow is in what's called negative energy balance. Yeah. And some of the symptoms of ketosis are lethargy, so their head's down, they don't have a lot of energy, um, decreased dry matter intake, decreased milk production, uh, there's a sweet smell on their breath. Um, they're uncoordinated, some could be aggressive, and they're just unusual behaviors, so they could eat soil, lick gates, stand in the corner, kind of be by themselves, because cows are kind of group animals, so if they're mm -hmm. by themselves, there's just something wrong. Mm -hmm. And then some of the prevention, you can ensure cows calve at a recommended BCS target, and if they are at that target, um, you could feed springers 80 to 90% of their energy requirement. Um, you can provide supplemental feed and forage, um, avoid feed restrictions, so if there's going to be like a bad snowstorm or weather coming up, make sure they have adequate amounts of feed and dry feed. So. And then you use the term BCS, you better define that, what, the, what does that the mean? Body condition score. And the body condition score. And then some of the treatments are IV metabolic solutions, um, IV dextrose or multivitamin injections. And those are your resources. Now, why did you pick this topic? Um, I have dairy cattle. So you have dairy cattle, yep. so you deal with ketosis. Occasionally, yeah. Yeah, and the sweet smell on the breath, I guess, smells kind of like acetone, because mm -hmm. acetone is a ketone body, yep. and yeah, very interesting.